Hello everyone, uh, Mr K here, and I have got our next week's challenge. Don't know which week this is because they've all muddled together at this point, but this week's challenge is, I want to do something a bit different to anything we've done before. I'm going to challenge you guys to write a letter to someone, because that's not really something people do nowadays. I mean, I don't really remember the last time I properly wrote a letter to someone, so I thought this could be a great opportunity to do it. Um, we're all in lockdown, or at least we are for the most part, it's starting to ease up now. But whilst we're all in lockdown, we might not have been able to see everybody we would normally go to see, or we might know of people who aren't getting to socialise or see people as much as they would like to, particularly if they're older people, like grandparents for example, who they're losing out on a lot of chance to see people. So I thought we could write some letters to people. So I've written two different letters here. Um, I'm just going to go through very briefly the ways you could write a letter and some of the things to include if you are writing a letter, because not everyone will have done them. Um, because it's just a nice thing. Receiving a letter, it's talking to someone, but without having to see them. It predates messaging and texts. I know, right? How archaic. But it's fun and it's nice. So, you round. This is a more advanced letter that I've just finished writing, um, just for you guys to have a look at and see what you guys think. So, I'm writing this letter to my gran um, because I haven't had a chance to see her in three, four months now, and she doesn't get to see very many people, so I thought it could be a nice idea to write a letter to her. So, I've started it with Dear Grandma. It's important when you start a letter, you start it with who you are writing it to, because otherwise anyone could pick it up and they wouldn't know who it's for. Then I've got here. This is my introduction paragraph, which is where you explain why you are writing to someone. So in this, I've explained that I haven't had a chance to see her because of lockdown, so I'm writing her so I can tell her how much I'm missing her. Then, down here, I've got my main part of the letter. This can be in two parts or one part, depending on how much you're going to write. But this for me is the main text and close, which is any of information. So in this, it's just talking and asking her whether she's finding things a bit difficult because of lockdown and asking her if she's okay. And finally, at the very end, it's a bit of a closing statement. So in this bit, I'm just talking about how at the moment lockdown is over, I'll be coming over to see her just to make up for some of the missed out time we've had. Then down here, I've got the letter closer, which can change depending on who you're writing a letter to. If you know them, it tends to be a bit more personal than if you don't know them. So I'm having sincerely here, which is something you would put at the end of a letter if you know somebody. So an end to the letter, if you know the person. You can also write from, if you just want to be really simple, if you don't really know the person you're writing to all that well. Or it could be even more personal, such as lots of love or love from. And at the very end, you put your name. Your name, I'm not sharing my name with you. Because if I tell you all my name, eh, it's going to get a bit awkward. I don't call myself Mr K to my gran. So this is a bit of a bigger letter. You might be writing what's... I've written in the grey, but a lot of you might also choose to do a bit of a drawing. Ta-da! A bit of a drawing in your letter, because sometimes art and drawings can speak a million words, and sometimes it's easier to draw as well. So it depends on how much of a challenge you want. So once again, I've got, for me, this is for my gran, so it's Dear Grandma, I miss you. Then I've done a lovely little picture of me and my gran. She's actually much shorter than me nowadays, but yeah, it looks a little bit cuter. And got to remain two meters apart lots of love from and then once again you would put your name here so you could write one of these for anybody you could write it to your gran you could write it to a friend from school you could write it to your teachers if you haven't had a chance to see your teachers recently you could write it to your parents to say thank you for looking after you throughout the time we've had you could write it to a member of your family or someone you know who is in your family group who you absolutely haven't had a chance to see for a while, so it's a nice chance to talk to people. Um, and you could always, if you know you've got next-door neighbours who you might not have had a chance to see or socialise, or you know might not have had a chance to see or socialise with other people, this can be a really nice way of letting people who might be feeling a bit lonely at the moment feel like someone cares for them. Because at the end of the day, we've all got to stick together, and that's what Rokeb is all about looking after each other and helping each other through things like this. So I would like you to set yourself a challenge, 
write a letter to someone if you need to post it to them you're going to need to ask your parents for help in terms of getting stamps and envelopes and posting them but if they're someone who just lives next door you can pop it through the letterbox because you're still staying distance that way so yeah i would love to see if you guys have had a chance to write any letters to anyone you don't need to share what you've written in your letters with people but if you'd like to share your letters with the school share your letters with your class teachers over class dojo and i would love to see what you guys have been getting up to so set yourself a bit of a challenge and yeah see you around bye